Hello everyone, it's Dr. Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center and we're here with one of our favorite patients who uh, has been getting some Botox and some dermal fillers to especially take care of the lines in the forehead and especially between the uh, eyebrows, which we call the glabellar area. And so when he frowns, then it creates a lot of creases right in this frown area. Do you want to show us how you frown? <laughs> So, and this is a very common habit that a lot of patients uh, do because they're either concentrating or something, or it's just something they do out of habit and they don't even realize it. But over time, what happens is that you keep reinforcing these lines to um, occur and then they just kind of stay over time, almost like a little scar tissue. So we can add Botox here to relax the movement but then I often also will add a little dermal filler right into the line because that plumps the line out more immediately, um, especially when the line is already present at rest. So that's what we're going to do. And um, it's a fairly quick and easy procedure, a few little injections, and then he will be ready to go. So this is just a little alcohol. We have our Botox here. And go ahead and squeeze again for me. I kind of like to see where that muscle belly is so we can inject right into that and relax again. Squeeze, relax. I usually do encourage patients to kind of make those facial expressions after the treatment because it encourages the uptake of the neurotoxin into the muscle. And squeeze again. Okay. Other ways to improve these 11s would also be uh, to add threads under the skin, which work sort of like a filler, but without adding too much volume, they stimulate collagen growth. And then we can also resurface the skin using a laser such as Fraxel laser, profractional um, microneedling. So those procedures can also be helpful in softening wrinkles and lines on the face. Radius is a nice filler because it also stimulates collagen production in the skin. And unlike a hyaluronic acid filler, it is not as hydrophilic, so it is not going to swell um, where it is placed. You also have a little scar here, right? Like a chicken pox scar or uh -huh. something. Yes. Right. That's good. And while the effect from the filler is immediate, the effect from the Botox will start to take effect in about two days, three days, and it will take about two weeks to fully set in before he sees a full improvement from the Botox. 
um, but we can already see the lines that were filled in with the filler are pretty much gone. So. And this will help you not only look younger and feel better, but there have also been benefits of Botox shown to improve your overall mood and make you feel happier and be happier as well, which is always very interesting to me. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching.